Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel and if you are seeing this face for the very first time, hi, my name is Apoorva, I make beauty and lifestyle content. So please take a moment and hit that subscribe button, also press that bell icon so every time I upload a video, you will get updated. So this video is going to be long and very very informative so in this video i am going to share my singapore itinerary also the expense and the budget so without any further ado let's get started with the video the very first and the major expense is the flight ticket so from chennai to singapore costed us 18000 rupees for two also while returning from singapore to hyderabad it costed us 30000 for two so in total we spent around 48000 for two people on the flights the flight prices may vary depending from where you are flying then comes the visa part so for singapore visa you cannot apply by your own you have to contact an authorized agent then only you can apply also for an authorized agent list you can check on ica website also if your friends and family lives in singapore so they can apply for your visa so my chacha is applied for our visa so it costed 30 dollar each for visa as for stay i would recommend to stay in heart of the city like orchard little india or bogies so from there most of the attraction are very near few attraction are just like walking distance also you will get access to the food shopping and everything if you stay in this area per night will cost you minimum of 65 dollar which comes to around 4500 rupees for per night also that's the cheapest that you can find in this area and this is the best deal i swear also i will link my top recommendation in the description box so please don't forget to check the description box out so we landed in singapore on 27th of september around 7 7 30 pm in the evening and straight we went to home grabbed some dinner and chill with our family the very next day we did very very touristy thing that is to visit Malayan Park and if you are going to Singapore and not visiting Malayan Park then what's the point of going to Singapore so it's very very touristy thing and there is no entry fee for the Malayan Park as for transport I would recommend to take MRT and buses because both are well connected to the city and it's very very convenient and super easy to understand also at the same time it's so cost effective from the malayan park we went to garden by the bay which is hardly 10 minutes walking distance from the malayan park then we visited floral fantasy which is so dreamy place and for the floral fantasy it costed us 20 dollar each Inside the floral fantasy, it has four themed garden, dance, wall, drift, float. So overall experience is combined by the flower, technology and the artistry. It is dream place. It, it feels like heaven on the earth. Then for the lunch and snacks, we have carried with us inside the garden by the bay. They have Starbucks, Jurassic Nest, Food Hall, McDonald's. You can have food there, so it will cost you around $30 for one. After having lunch, we visited Cloud Forest, Flower Dome and Impression of the Monet, which costed us $118 for two, which comes to total of $7,700, including the tax. Flower Dome was such a beautiful and breathtaking experience. Also, there is event going on, Carnival of Flower from 23rd of September to 17th of November. It's Australia's largest running floral show, which is inspired by Toowoomba Carnival of Flower. Flower Dome was such a beautiful experience. You can, you can see different flowers from the different part of the world. So it was such wholesome experience. Then we went to Cloud Forest. And just right when you enter the cloud forest, there is world tallest indoor waterfall. In the cloud forest, there are world most exotic plant ever you will find. And then you can stroll around the aerial walkway, which is so beautiful. And you can see plant as close as this. And in the evening, you can stroll around Indian garden, Chinese garden, the meadows colonial garden so this all are these all are gardens which is inside the garden by the bay 
and it doesn't have any entry fee whatsoever and when light and sound show is happening so you can take a walk on ocbc skyway which is so beautiful and so breathtaking you can see closely and it's so magical the light and sound show happen twice a day in the evening which is 7:45 and 8:45 it's so magical so breathtaking so the light and sound show is free of cost and ocbc ocbc skyway has uh, entry fee so i will mention here or maybe at the end of the video so please check that out the light and sound show is so magical that you cannot miss on also if you have some energy left then you can walk on double helix bridge you can visit floating apple store and by the end of the day my husband was super super tired the very next day that is on 29th of september i kept really very very chill because my husband was super tired from the previous night so we visited to marina bay sand and we visited the art science museum that is future world it's so beautiful that is your beyond imagination it's that beautiful it will take around 3 to 4 hours to cover all costed us 25 dollar each also there you can do fun and interactive activity with your partner friends or family so it's quite chill and fun day also from there you can do shopping in marina bay sands and go to little india explore the vibrant colorful street have lunch over there then go to bugis explore the market and lanes with the graffiti and the spiral staircase which is so colorful and vibrant then visit arab lane which is just nearby the bugis which is so beautiful so aesthetic then at night go to clarki which has some beautiful city view with the riverside cafe and dining also this is the most happening street at night so you can enjoy and go to club also the clarki has some amazing cafe and the coffee shop you can have have dinner over there with the beautiful river view if you want to experience singapore night life then you should definitely visit the clarki at night it's so beautiful so wholesome also on the instagram i got some comment why why haven't you visit the marina bay sand deck and the singapore flyover so in my opinion it's way too overpriced instead you can go go make a booking in cafe at marina bay sand and in the evening you can see the same view of the city so in my opinion going to the cafe is more worth it next day was going to be super long as we visited the universal studio because you have to leave early and you have so many activities to do there and there are queue for the rides so definitely this was going to be super long day so we have reached universal studio at 10 also do not make mistake to cover sentosa in one single day because sentosa is huge it will take two days to cover all then we took monorail from sentosa to universal studio which costed us 4 dollar and in that 4 dollar you can travel around like sea aquarium sentosa island and the universal studio there the sentosa is so huge so the monorail has three stops the universal studio costed us 150 dollars that is around 10000 rupees and never make mistake going to universal studio on weekend it's a theme park it has some adventurous and thrilling ride to meet and greet some shows cafe dinings and shopping it is such a wholesome experience it was so overwhelming also the great thing about the universal studio is it has something for every age group also the jurassic rapid adventure and the revenge of mummy is must like when you visit universal these two rides are must so for each and every ride there is queue system you have to wait for 1 to 2 hour to get and ride 
so you can just download the universal app and check the timings also the universal studio closes at 5 pm so you have to go early to enjoy all the ride after that you can just take a monorail to the santosa beaches and you can just relax on the beach and you can just do beach hopping there are three beaches which are totally man made there are some shacks you can enjoy food over there so it's a great day if you get free early from the universal studio as 3 pm so you can definitely visit the sea aquarium which is the world third largest sea aquarium which has over 1 lakh marine life and this is so relaxing and breathtaking also the next day was going to be super super long go early as 9 am to visit the wildlife that is mandalay wildlife reserve so the mandalay wildlife reserve has divided into three parts which is bird paradise the zoo and the river safari so i will highly recommend to go bird paradise and the zoo because, because i don't find river safari that worth it firstly go to bird paradise in mandalay wildlife reserve the ticket will cost you around 92 dollars that is 6000 for two it will take around 3 to 4 hours to completely soak in that beauty and enjoy the show also you can find many different kind of birds from all over the world and habitat it's so beautiful it's so breathtaking also there you can feed the bird also the zoo ticket will cost you 92 dollar that is 6000 for two and then you can visit zoo then go to the zoo enjoy the show also you can find different animal from different habitat and different part of the world which is so fascinating to see also so there are two shows that you can definitely enjoy also the mandalay wildlife preserve got some beautiful cafes and uh, shops and dinings the next day go to santosa island because as i told santosa cannot be covered in one single day it will take two days to cover the whole santosa go to santosa do sky luge which is highly highly recommended this is the very fun and the thrilling activity it will cost you 36 dollar for one and uh, then you can visit the trikai museum water park and madam tusa also you can choose accordingly which one to cover first because the trikai museum madam tusa is also so big that you cannot cover all the things because there are many activities which you cannot cover in just a single day so you need more time to visit santosa and uh, you can choose accordingly which activity you more likely to lean over so you can definitely choose from the activities and and in the evening you can just chill at the beach enjoy the music and have some good food at the shacks also when you are visiting the santosa the one thing that you cannot miss is the show which is wings of the time this is the beautiful show with the water fire 3d projection this is so beautiful and so breathtaking and this show is so memorable also it costed us 19 dollar for the ticket for each person the santosa has many cafes food truck ice cream truck and the shops the next day you can just go to iron orchard and do some last minute shopping because i generally prefer iron orchard over imm because i feel imm is so so overrated because when you go to imm you cannot find the things that you really really like because it's an outlet mall So I would suggest go to Iron Orchard and go airport as early as possible. The Changi Airport has lot to offer. You can easily spend around five to six hour at the airport, and the airport is so beautiful. You have to visit the the Rain Botex Waterfall, which is the world largest indoor waterfall. Then just go to the bouncing net. and walking net mirror maze and the canopy park just go to the canopy park have some good food and just you can just shop last minute easily spend good 5 to 6 hours at singapore airport without getting bored so it has lot of things to offer so instead of going to imm 
last minute just go to singapore airport so this was my 7 days 6 night singapore itinerary it was so wholesome so overwhelming and this was the best itinerary that i can give you also in the end i will tell you my some favorite go to places to have some amazing food in singapore now coming to overall expenses 48000 for the flight 3800 for the visa 30000 minimum for a stay 20000 minimum for food 80000 on sightseeing 6000 on transport and it comes to total of rupees 187000 also this amount is not fixed because it can vary 5 to 10% so coming to my favorite places that you cannot miss in singapore is first first has to be yakun kaya toast and the toast box to have kaya peanut butter toast which is super delicious second boba tea from any local vendor and when you are in bugis the passion fruit boba tea is must Trudy cafe that is in chinatown for their aesthetics and the coffee is average but the aloo olio is so nice 108 matcha saru for the mochi which is situated in iron orchard this has some amazing mochi origin plus bloom to have some amazing matcha latte and the artisanal dessert the desserts there are so delicious so tempting which is situated in marina bay sands coma for sushi also it has some great vegetarian and vegan options available and when you go coma just try lemon yuzu it is so amazing dessert oh my god i am salivating right now also this is situated in marina bay sand craftsman coffee for their coffees i have tried effecato over there which was so delicious also this is situated in clarkey hawker center is always a great option for pocket friendly meals also it has wide variety of vegan and vegetarian options 7-eleven for quick snacks like instant noodle ramen and uh, smoothies and juices so that was it for my video i hope you guys enjoyed watching this also please don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel also please share this video with your friends and family i will see you guys next friday till then bye bye and stay safe